So we have an announcement to make, um, but we will start the announcement and live in a few minutes because a few seconds for some people to gather. So if a certain amount of viewers uh, gather, we will start our announcement. Can you guys just uh, tell us that the audio is okay? Hmm. Can you guys hear as well? Speak closer to the mic. Speak closer to the mic. Is, is the sound okay or? Audio is good, okay? Audio is good, okay. Okay, um, so right, like, let's just wait about like 30 seconds. 30 seconds um, and we will begin the So live. we decided to do an emergency live to address the situation uh, that has been going on after we uploaded our last video. And um, like it's right now 2 a.m. We decided to just gather in Hongdae and uh, we, have to, we have to set this right. Right. Yeah, we're just here to clarify things and uh, yeah we will start the announcement how many people are watching uh 1400 1500 so i think mm -hmm. that's enough do you think yeah let's go start? okay so let me just start off um i want to apologize to Sunni and his family and vips we are deeply, deeply sorry. Uh, I would like to apologize to Sunni and his family and his fans, VIPs, and I am deeply sorry as well. So, um, our intent, uh, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, watch our last video. Actually, it's private, but our intent of our recent DK News video was not to put the blame on Sun Lee, but to deliver what the Korean news has been saying. Um, Korean news outlets such as uh, KBS, NBC, YTN, which are all mainstream news outlets in South Korea. And when we stated that Sun Lee was responsible for what happened at the club, we did not intend to say that Sunni took part in any of the events that had occurred in the club. Rather, we were implying his role as an in-house director of a club and how someone of a, such a position would be liable to take responsibility in case of events like these. To tell you the process of which uh, how we filmed the video. Uh, we gathered in the studio on Thursday of January 31st to respond to the overflowing requests from VIPs to cover the Burning Sun news on our latest DK News episode. Um, these came these requests came via comments and tweets that are all visible on our channel and accounts. At this point, uh, we did not have access to the new information that was revealed yesterday. However, on that day, YG had announced their plans to put out an official statement. So we decided it would only be fair if we included that and thus we postpone the filming of DK News to the next day. Um, even on the next day, the news that was covered regarding the Burning Sun Club were the ones that we had discussed on that episode of DK News. And they were all sourced from credible Korean news outlets. So we took their word and put them in our video. However, 
as the news is unfolding, we are finding out that some of the articles that we have sourced our information from are possibly inaccurate and are being overturned. Um, if you have watched our video, uh, we have put out disclaimers throughout the video, such as at 19 minutes and 50 seconds, um, I specifically said this is an ongoing open case. These are all alleged claims and are not official. And at 25 minutes, 24 seconds, Davis said, for now, nothing is out and I want to protect Sunni as a human being. However, now that we review the video in a new light, after all the criticism, we can see how even with these disclaimers, this video could have been misleading. Thus, we are regretful that we have failed to deliver the correct up-to-date information to you guys, and for that, we definitely apologize. <clears throat> so, um, okay, uh, currently we are aware that a lot of criticism against our video is present, so therefore we felt a need to respond and properly address the situation. Uh, and first, regarding why we uploaded before all investigations were complete, was because, was because, as we stated earlier, um, more than the criticism we are receiving currently, the demand of, of about covering the issues from VIPs were immense. They were greater. And plus, the purpose of DK News itself is to cover topics that are highlighted in the Korean society and pop culture. So, and unquestionably, the Burning Sun incident was the most talked about topic in Korea for the past week. So we felt the need to cover it. And uh, <clears throat> second, about the criticism that we are using Sunni for views and money, it's totally incorrect. Honestly, we cannot Honestly, we cannot prove our intentions that it was for views, it wasn't for views and money. However, we can say that the amount of labor compared to the amount of money that we would make out of this video is extremely low. So we usually make about, I'll just open it up, 100 to $200 per a DK News single video. And to make a DK News video, it usually takes an average of 10 plus hours of filming and editing. So nevertheless, um, if you still feel like we are trying to exploit Sungmi's situation to get clout or profit, we cannot say anything or prove ourselves but just to apologize. So we are sorry. And since many of you feel that way, we will fully disclose. We will fully disclose our earnings for this particular video after two weeks. After two weeks, and use this opportunity to donate the earnings to a charity of your choice in Sunmi's name, especially for the people who are angry at us. So we will notify you via Twitter in two weeks. And so please keep an eye on that. And third, <clears throat> regarding us not reading the DMs uh, that you guys sent us about the latest news, to be totally honest, we simply did not know the fact that you sent them in the first place. As a channel that has uh, more than 400k subscribers, we receive an overwhelming account of, uh, amount of personal messages every day and sometimes we do not have the time to physically read all of them. So I'm sorry about that too. And fourth, regarding some misleading vocabulary and expressions within the video such as managerial role, head, director, and YG trying to cover Sunni. Um, since 
DK News, this this is a new show for commentary and entertainment mostly purpose. We do not have a strict script. We do not write scripts. So in the process of commenting the words, it got mixed up. And also in the process of translating Simi's role from Korean news, which was stated as Sawe Isa or Isa in Korean news. Uh, I looked it up in the dictionary and it translates into various forms along the lines of director and the words we used. So I'm sorry if there was a, a misunderstanding there. And also for the statement that YG was trying to cover him up, cover him up, did not mean that Seungmi was guilty. We did not accuse him that he was guilty and that YG was trying to cover up the case. Once again, the word there, the wording, was spontaneous that came out from my mouth and in this case it did it meant something like close to uh, YG was looking out for or representing him so um, since we did not acknowledge the slight difference the nuance of the words uh, I acknowledge the fact that it could be very misleading and we apologize again and uh, we underestimated our influence and thus, uh, we will we will be careful of our wording in the future in future videos. So um, now we fully acknowledge that our channel has an immense influence among the K-pop community. Uh, we will use this learning as an opportunity to reuse our influence to shed light in the updated facts, including the ones the VIPs are sending us and have sent us right now uh, shortly after I uh, finish. Um, before we go on, we would like to announce that we have already edited out the Sunni segment from the latest DK video and we have already made the video uh, private so nobody can see it. But however, YouTube takes a few hours to process the editing so um, it's going to be private until the processing. Uh, in the future, we assure you in future videos, we will not jump the gun and be more strict in fact checking. And uh, I just want to actually thank you, uh, everyone, for giving us the opportunity to learn so that we can improve our videos. And lastly, uh, we know that you are very upset with us and may not accept this apology. This, this apology may not mean anything to you, but regardless, uh, we thought it was the right thing to do to at least address this apology and plan. And currently, to state the truth, um, I'm, I'm receiving many claims about suing, suing us or even death threats and personal insults. Uh, however, um, I will all take it in as feedback and criticism, and um, as always, I will continue to support Big Bang as a VIP. And yeah, that is basically all I wanted to say, we wanted to say, and um, in the latter part of this stream, as I said above, we will uh, take this opportunity to shed light on the facts, the new updated information that we excluded, we missed in our um, recent video. So we will go on to our Twitter account where many of uh, the VIPs are actually giving us new sources of information and we will uh, go through each one of them and uh, hopefully um, uh, clear Sunday. clear Sunday's yeah. name. So. Yeah. Um, so I saw a link that was stated many times. Let me just check. I want to. I want. I want to see that. I think it's, oh, it's, it's just one. Yeah. Update, update, update on the Burning, Burning Sun, Sun incident. incident. So I think this is the new video that was uploaded. This video was posted on Facebook, clearing up. The K assault and drunk Thai client cases also included the third case of a stalker, Burning Sun employee I hadn't heard of before. The stalker is called Jay and was an employee at Burning Sun. He violently stalked a female co-worker and threatened her, damaged her car. See video for pics. 
When she did not respond, Jay quit his job at Burning Sun. Sometime after that, he contacted Mr. K by what is KKT? Do you know? Um, oh, Kakao Talk. And gave him misleading CCTV footage of drunk female customer and told him the fake story of her being drugged and dragged away. He seems to make a deal with K, telling him K can ruin Burning Sun with this video. Jay is visibly angry and threatens K as well before following before the following text to K. And this is what he sent. Understand the situation because of you not only I'm not only somebody else. I'm planning on ruining all of you with Sydney's name. Don't ignore me. Hmm. To clarify, this video showed K assault case, the drunk woman case, and the stalker case. It did not clarify anything related to GHB circle rumors and police bribery rumors. We will have to wait until the investigations are over. Once again, um, thank you for submitting this new information to us. And um, yeah, we will have the the point is we will have to wait until the investigations are over. Let's let's just watch this though. Um, so this is a new video. So this is the stalker, alleged stalker. Um, so apparently the stalker, I think this is talking about the stalk, alleged stalker. This alleged stalker put up a petition on the Blue House petition board saying um, the club club guards and um, the one of the managers had beaten him up, uh, assaulted him. And this was actually the original news that had come out in South Korea from many, many news outlets. And this is what he uploaded on YouTube. And this is the video that many thought was a drug woman being pulled out. So the Korean media outlets like KBS, YTN, NBC, and etc. used this video on national TV and published articles about it. And it's not an excuse, but that was the source we sourced for our videos as well. And this is a new video that sheds a new perspective that that was actually not true, right? So the stalker, alleged stalker, claimed that these kind of things happen twice a day in Burning Sun and that the um, police and Burning Sun are all on one team, so they look out for each other, so these crimes are neglected at the club is what he was claiming on an internet post. So first of all, what many people claimed was that the guard had been pulling the woman by her hair, but if you look closely, according to this video, she was not pulled by her hair, but her in her arms, in his arms, in his arms, in the guard's arms. And it says that this is the it's, it's the protocol yeah. for guards to um, handle very drunk women. That is the person who was actually in the footage. 
So this woman was completely drunk and um, she was acting out inside the club, so that's why the guards took her out, apparently, according to this video. And apparently she's actually hitting her translator and also a female guard and thus she was investigated by the police on regards to assault and she was sent home but she also sent an apology letter to the staff at Burning Sun. So this was actually, according to this video, uh, edited out in a malicious manner in order to um, defame defam, defam, uh, or defamation of Burning Sun. And apparently, um, this person was stalking, uh, allegedly stalking and damaging uh, a female worker in Burning Sun's car. And the person was blackmailing the person that he or she would, he or she would leak the footage, similar footage. I think it's a key. Okay, so, okay. Um, so actually, I think we have to differentiate this um, because this video was kind of edited in a confusing way. So there's two people. One is a stalk, alleged stalker, and another is, we'll call him Mr. Kim. So Mr. Kim was the person that uploaded the YouTube video, and the stalker, alleged stalker, was the person that has sent the video to Mr. Kim in order to uh, make a defamation case out of Burning Sun and in order to threaten Sun Lee. So Mr. Kim had allegedly claimed that he was trying to protect uh, a female from being sexually assaulted or harassed and that's why he got kicked out of the club that was his original claim and this is mr kim right here this this person and this person is apparently the alleged victim victim of uh sexual harassment harassment So you have to see now that the girl is squatting down on the floor in a weird posture, and she's shocked to see, shocked to see the Mr. Mr. Kim sitting at her seat. And Mr. Kim is allegedly staring at her what? And behind. she is asking her friend who is this person behind me, allegedly. But Mr. Kim is con con continuing to stare at her. <clears throat> and he starts to poke her, poke her with his finger. Uh, And he pokes her again with the bottle. The bottle. Okay. And she stops like asking what is, what is he doing? And then she avoids him. And then time passes again. So this is the full footage of the club. And you can see that the vic alleged victim has Moved her a place there, uh -huh. and, and Mr. Mr. Kim, Kim is approaching is her again. Approaching her again.
and then he's just surrounding her, wandering around her. And then he starts to touch her, approach her approaching her. And she's shocked, and she looks at him. And he tries to attach to her again in the behind. And then there's one of the directors in the club. Yeah, the director, one of the directors in the club, tries to stop him from doing it. I think that's when the conflict began with yeah. Mr. Kim and the director. It looks like uh, the director is taking out Mr. Kim out of the club, apparently. Okay, so that is the, the person that was labeled red was Mr. Kim. And the person in the neon clothing was the alleged uh, victim of sexual harassment. And this was CCTV footage after the Mr. Kim had allegedly been assaulted by uh, the club staff and according to this video it claims that Mr. Kim doesn't look like he's bleeding or has any ribs broken that he was claiming to have in the police investigations. He starts to. Oh, he starts. He touched the guard. He touched the guard in the chin area. You can see that. And he's trying to film this with his phone, but the guard is stopping him. And the guard is, looks like he's also filming. And this is another angle, angle from, from a different zooming lens camera. And this is when the police comes. And when the guard is trying to take so, him up. So the guard, the Mr. Kim was trying to pull out a trash, uh, what do you call trash it? Trash bag. Trash bag. And the guard was trying to stop him. So apparently Mr. Kim allegedly uh, hits the guard in the back of the head. And the guard kicks Mr. Kim out. And I guess Mr. Kim is allegedly kicking the trash bag. And he's also pulling a pipe. It looks like an ashtray. And he's throwing things. And Mr. Kim is complaining to the uh, officers, police officers. And he's resisting, he's trying to get close to the police officers, 
and the police officers are pushing him back and he is grabbing a police officer's neck, neck and pulling him down to the ground. Okay. So only this part of the footage was released from another angle previously and, and seeing the full footage we can see that there was another perspective as well. Mm, okay, so I think um, definitely thank you for sending us this link. Um, it has put a new perspective on this case and I do really regret now that we have jumped the gun regarding this specific incident because looking at other CCTV footage, I mean, we can't be completely sure because this is still an open case, but this is, um, you know, it does definitely shed different light to this incident. So thank you once again for sending us this video. I really wish we could turn back time and have seen this video before we had uploaded that VK News episode. But I guess the best thing we could do now, and which we already did, was edit that part of DK News out because it is outdated information and it also includes incorrect information um, as it turns out. So, yeah, I think, um, thank you. Thank you for uh, giving us this information. And thank maybe... you, and um, I just learned that like, even if the news is putting out articles and statements. If it's not a, and it's not if it's not a closed case, the the turnout can become totally different. So, uh, in the future, again, we will delay our judgment on things mm. and uh, source things more strictly and do a double fact check for everything. Yeah, I think um, we definitely failed to deliver news as a credible source. I mean, we do claim ourselves to be more commentary oriented than fact, like than news itself. But at the same time, I think with our number of our influence, we do definitely have a responsibility to deliver clear, factual information. And especially since we both majored in journalism, I think it was kind of, um, you know, we, we kind of we're dumb, to be honest, to just jump the gun and just trust the news sources too much on a case that was yet to be concluded. So we will definitely use this experience to further develop and improve our BK News segment of our channel to make it more credible and to make it a show where it doesn't sh not only shows perhaps the mainstream news sources what, what they're saying in korea but also perhaps a different perspective uh, so definitely we apologize for our mistakes once again and thank you for sending us new information and also helping us improve our show to be even better i'm just looking for some extra info because there was a lot of new links and new sources i actually saw a very helpful link that linked to a fan cafe that had a oh, yeah. source that um, Sungmi was not the actual CEO or nor owner of the club. It it had some um, great facts in that thread, but I'm just trying mm -hmm. to uh, find it right now. And um, okay, um, I, I know I saw the link that you were talking. I about. think uh, yeah. people. I think you, uh, during this opportunity, we should um, okay. show that uh, link. <laughs> Do you remember where it was? I mean, like, there's so many comments. Uh, oh, maybe it's, no, 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 that's, oh, that's, oh, it's Sung Lee's official statement. Oh, he put out an he put out an official statement. I think maybe somebody put out an official statement. We should read that too. Wait, but we don't know if it's real. Oh, but it's from the same person, so 
It has one thousand tweets. Okay, so um, I don't know, but before this, I want to find that um, fan cafe fan cafe post that yeah. had the thread. You, you should look. Uh, wait, don't don't look at this. Look into mentions. Um, just this one. I'm, I'm sorry for the delay guys uh, it was it was there on the thread but um, I think a lot of people commented. Lo a lot of people commented since our live stream so um, there there was a thread I just saw that and it had a lot of facts. Oh, I think it's near here because yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I saw these I saw it a couple of hours ago too. It was it was a pretty upvoted um, tweet, wasn't it? Yeah. Damn, I really oh. want to find it. Yeah, I, I mean, like, we really need to show you this because um, I think it's it's close now. It's close. Maybe it's this one. No. Update. No, this is the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's the one we read. Oh, no, this is you. I'm sorry for that, too. Oh, no, 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 that's that's Facebook. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We're not look, uh, Where is that? Oh, I think it was this person. Really? Um, I really saw it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, here we are. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's not the actual link. Guys, uh, it's, it's not the actual link I saw, but, um... It says the the real owner of Burning Sun is these three people, and uh, this looks very similar to Sunni's name, but it's actually not. Mm. And uh, the tweet says that these directors have been hiding th behind a celebrity, meaning Sunni, and uh, if there is a tie between police and the club or any drug-related stuff. Uh, please investigate uh, thoroughly, and if there's any problems, please uh, mm -hmm. make them um, uh, right. responsible. Yeah. And um, if you see the actual thing, uh, you can see that uh, the... It's a recruitment uh, posting and for the club, Burning Sun Club, and... The, the says, president, the CEO, and the, the representatives, representatives are Lee Song Yun and Lee Moon Ho. It's there is no Sung Lee. name is not on that list, yes. so he's not obviously the actual owner. And you can see this person. It says Instagram. Instagram says Burning Sun CEO, and and this person as well, yeah, Burning Sun's uh, CEO and owner. And I don't know what this one is, so I, I'm not gonna read it. So uh, basically, um, the new okay. evidence is uh, allegedly. I we we're not sure. Yeah. We're not sure. Uh, uh, we don't want to state anything at this point again. But um, uh, that Sungi is not the actual owner yes. of the club. Uh, he was a director. That was confirmed by uh, YG himself, yeah. and. Um, uh, his uh, his family too, but he resigned and he is clear from all his uh, obligations and responsibilities. 
So but uh, we do have to wait for the investigation. So okay. this is a new perspective. So thank you for sending the uh, facts and updates on this case. Uh, I mean, there are so many tweets. So oh yeah, I think that's the oh somebody sent us. Oh, somebody sent, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is the this is the link I saw. Um, so another disclaimer: this is from a cafe, so we don't know how credible these sources of information are, but we will read them regardless because it's another point of view. So first argument is that again, Burning Sun is not owned by a. Uh, it's not owned by Sunni, and you can see it in its report, in its company report. It's not tentatively, they all state that yes. the owners are Lee Song Yeon and Lee Moon. Okay, so these are all information, and it looks pretty credible. Um, these are all information that states that the CEOs are two different people. And then at number five, there's a status of management, and, and Sunni is on top as yes. just board or director. Yes. So um, they are not CEO. He is not CEO, but rather director. And again, director again, Isa. from our apology statement, um, the wording here is very tricky about the word Isa, because sometimes it can be very changeable, and and uh, it's a very versatile role in Korean companies. Isa. Yes. So, so uh, we apologize again for um, mistranslating the word, and uh, I actually saw some foreign international articles and they stated it as in-house director okay. so that's out house out of house yeah but Sao but but the actual okay. article said okay. like that so so and another thing was that people were claiming news reports were claiming that Sunni was very hands-on with burning sun's management and running which is what we also thought but apparently according to this particular post um, it says that Sunni has never claimed to be hands-on with Burning Sun and that it's a miswording of his interview uh, so yeah um, let's see So in in a well okay so this is I think the where the miswording or uh, the misconception that he is hands on got to the public's attention and also the news outlets' attention is because in an episode of Naunja Tanda I don't exactly know what the English title for that it's show a variety is. show in Korea. Yes, Singh came on and it said he's very hands on with uh, he doesn't like. Um, the typical celebrity businesses because they usually just borrow the name and don't really take part in business. Um, so he said that um, he can't sell just just sell his name. So he's uh, very hands on with. I think in this case he was talking about Audi Ramen. Yeah, I think he was hands on means he. Oh, uh, he manages and, and like, he looks into directly, it directly. And I think I remember seeing this clip and saying how Sunni visits the Aori Ramen branches very often to make sure that they're doing well. So I guess he was talking about Aori Ramen in that sense, but people took that word and put it out of context for the club as well. For the club as well. And it's unsure if Sunni has any voice in picking and recruitment of the staff of Burning Sun. And according to this post, um, it says that Sunni was not at the uh, day of the event, I mean, day of the incident. Uh, he was not at the club. So his Instagram post with, I think this is Hyoyeon, um, I'm pretty sure, was uploaded on November 23rd. And that was, okay, so that was November 23rd, 
uh, going over to November 24th, which is a Saturday. So it was Friday night, and apparently the incident happened on Saturday night, I believe. So this post is saying he was not there. And according to this article, he is um, basically shutting down unnecessary businesses, and it, that's that's what he was doing in 2018. And his only remaining businesses that he is really in is DJ Label and Auri Rame. So I'm guessing that Sunni being part, taking, you know, being away from director, like leaving that position, was part of his efforts to, you know, shut down all his unnecessary businesses. He had to do that because he needs to go to the he military. He needs to go to the military soon because... So know, the timing calls. was just a coincidence. Yes, and this news broke out in the perfect timing, so I think that's why people were, including us, were misguided and confused. So, I just want to say I really truly apologize to Sunni and his family and VIPs who were affected by our our previous video. We have that edited out so that we don't misguide other people. And looking at if this all this information is true and if indeed, you know, this new video and information turns out to be all true, then I do think that Sunni is a victim here. Um, I think it's, he is one of the victims. He is of one media of the victims, and everything too. so I feel bad that I said he was probably responsible because he was uh, in the director. Because looking at this, he might really not have known, and like you know, stuff happens, shit happens, and um, it's sometimes things are just out of his hand. So. Um, looking at this in new light, it does really seem like Sunni is the victim. But we will do definitely follow up on this as this, this case. It seems like it's coming to a close, so I will definitely um, we will definitely cover that on future DK News videos. So please go look forward to that, and we will make sure we have the right information uh, that time. So once again, sorry, and we're very very sorry, and thank you for making us improve our content and also look back on our mistakes. So I, I'm, I'm sorry as well and we, we uh, promise to improve in the future with fact checking and uh, wording and everything that we messed up this time and I uh, just want to say I'm very sorry personally to fellow VIPs out there. You might not even want to call me a VIP as well. Uh, it's okay if you're disappointed or you feel disgusted or anything, but um, I will take all of that in, inside and um, more strongly support Big Bang and Sunmi with this case. And I really sincerely hope that his name is cleared uh, of this unfair incident and hopes that the whole situation and case is closed in a very positive way towards him and uh, Big Bang as all five members can happily uh, reunite and uh, continue a successful career. So, um, and, and add to add one more thing, um, there are still ongoing cases regarding um, regarding the people who have claimed that they have been sexually assaulted, abused, raped uh, inside the club, and also testimonies of people saying that they have been drugged. Um, and I think this definitely needs to, I think we have to focus on that part more than the Sunni part. I think that was yes. one of our major faults because Sunni now in this new light, in this new, with this new information, it just seems like he was a scapegoat for the rest of the stuff that was happening. So I definitely do wish for the police to investigate on all those cases and to make sure things are straightened out regarding that. So while I do really truly apologize to Sunni for jumping the gun, I do also hope that the police finish their investigations and we will, I think we should still cover that on the news. Uh, yes, we will even do a without Sunni's context, uh, I definitely think uh, we, sh 
we, we have a responsibility to follow up on that news, on how the investigations go. So I will tell you guys uh, in future videos. So uh, be sure to stay tuned. Yeah, and, and in two weeks, don't forget that we will donate yes. the ad revenue that was produced from that video. So which is not going to be a lot, but yeah. still we just want to put meaning into it and uh -huh. uh, show our sincerity. So, so, so just as a charity that we could perhaps put good use to in uh, Sumi's name. Yes, as we well. will. If, if you reason. even don't want that, like if you don't want his name being used by us or anything, just, then we won't do it. We won't do we it. Will it just but it's just it our, our intentions. Name. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, um, thank you for watching this lengthy video. Uh, once again, sorry, and thank you for giving us a chance to improve our videos in the future. And thank you, all ducks and VIPs and everybody. Uh, so I think it's about time to go. It's nearly 3 a.m. in South Korea right now. And we are in Lunar New Year's. So everybody, happy Lunar New Year's. Uh, it's the biggest holiday in South Korea. And I'm going to spend some quality family time. You're going to spend family time, right? So everybody, happy New Year's. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, uh, we haven't checked the comments yet, um, but maybe some people have some questions, so I just think, okay, um, okay, so, um, look at his Insta, okay, I will look, check at his, his Insta, Instagram. Instagram. A lot of people are saying, look at his Insta. Okay. So I guys. will read. I will read a translation that has 500 likes on his what, Instagram. Well, what is his Insta? Wait, his, what? Hemyong, Hemyong, Oh, so it's real. Yes, this is Sunni. Oh, Sunni. then then we can we can read, we can see it on the tweet. Didn't we see a translation? Okay, this one, I think this one is safe to read. Okay. Soon we posted an official statement on his IG regarding. Okay, we'll finish with this reading of um, his Instagram post statement. Um, so, okay, let's read this. Okay, in English? Yeah, yeah, let's read it in English. Hello, I'm Simli. First of all, I sincerely apologize to all those who have been upset or worried about the recent events and controversies involving me. The incident has been an unbearable nightmare for the last couple of days and has left a great deal of confusion on what to say. In fact, I am really sorry that the official explanation and apology have been delayed due to surrounding disarray and many troubles that unsup the unsophisticated explanation can make a bigger misunderstanding, misunderstanding in the situation where the unclear contents are getting bigger like snowballs. I was not on the scene at the beginning of the debate and I first learned about this case when I worked a few days later and there was a double-sided assault between the customer and the staff and the police were investigating it. Due to the nature of the workplace there are a lot of disputes and controversies so I hope that this time around will be resolved peace peacefully without any major problems. Later, I first saw a video of what was happening in the media and I was very shocked. In any case, violence cannot be justified and I sincerely apologize to the victims who have been hurt by this. And I hope you will heal your physical and mental wounds as soon as possible. The first time I got involved in the club was in the simple mind that I wanted to do the DJ activities that I wanted to do in a place where I could play music at any time, using time other than solo activities as Big Bang's activities were temporarily suspended and solo activities began. I had a good opportunity to take on the role as a director of the club and that is that is in charge of public relations and because I was an entertainer I played the role of promoting the club into the public. The management and operation of, club, of the club was not my role, and since I wasn't involved from the beginning, I apologize for not having been able to show providing responsibility, show responsibility from the beginning. The issue sparked by assault has now led to media reports on drugs. As I have never seen or heard of, the, of this in person, I hope that we can... Uh, I'll read the rest. Uh, 
I hope that we can actively cooperate with investigation to find out the truth and punish those who are guilty. I, who was a company director at that time, will take full responsibility if I have to take responsibility. Through this experience, I have felt great remorse and realized once again the responsibilities and attitudes of celebrities. I sincerely apologize to all of you who have been worried about this, and I'll try to show you a more mature and thoughtful side. Okay, so, so I think that's a good way to end the uh, uh, yeah, live. Just in time as we uh, did the live. So, um, so yeah, um, we're sorry again, Sumi, and. Um, we will definitely follow up on this news in future DK News videos as the case unfolds or closes. And um, thank you for those people who are still who still have faith in us. Um, we will try to improve our content improve. to make it better. So I think it's about time to go now, and um, it's nearly three p.m. three a.m. And um, thank you for joining this live. And we will see you guys next time. Sorry again. Bye-bye.